voluntarios. The World Youth Day at Panama is starting to build excitement for January. With the goal to reach everyone, this weekend it summoned thousands of children. Los invitamos a la JMJ Kids. Les saluda el Papa Francisco. One of the puppets represents the Pope and another is disguised as Monsignor Romero. The Archbishop of Panama showed the video to Pope Francis. He cracked up laughing. He said, but they've made me a bit ugly. On Sunday, we will have thousands of young Pope Francis's, patron saints of World Youth Day, and Swiss guards to create this international environment. Jose Domingo Yoa was in Rome to finish the details of the next World Youth Day that will begin January 22nd in Panama. Thousands of young people and bishops are already enrolling. I think this is the most important thing, that from various dioceses of the world, they have already contacted us and are already envisioning this pilgrimage to Panama. In Panama, hundreds of people have made their homes available to pilgrims who will be attending. The Archbishop of Panama has taken advantage of his trip to Rome to visit the Holy Land, where a project started that is related to the upcoming World Youth Day. One of the great gifts the pilgrims will receive is this rosary, made with olive wood from Bethlehem. We will give two to each pilgrim along with a commitment to pray with it themselves, then give it to another and pray for peace in the world, for youth and for Christians of the Holy Land. The most wonderful thing about this rosary is that we have been able to help more than 250 families in the Holy Land. The official trip schedule will be announced around the month of November. Meanwhile, dozens of volunteers from all over the world are already working in Panama, so everything will be ready by then.